Hey everybody, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home, and today I kind of have a mixed bag for you. It's kind of a what's for dinner, what we had for lunch, what we've used up out of our pantry, but it's just going to kind of be a mixed bag of different foods. But, and I've also got a product for you, and I really, I really enjoyed it, and I will let you know about it as we get started. I'll give you all the information, and I've also got a coupon code for you, so stay tuned for that. So I've just made a few dinners, nothing fancy. And I'm also gonna make a sandwich. We're gonna start with this first. And I'm gonna use my leftover, well not leftovers. I canned some chuck roast uh, probably six months ago. And I found a recipe for a sandwich. So I'm gonna drain off the, the broth and I'm gonna make a sandwich with it. And it shouldn't take but a few minutes and I'm excited to make that. So come along with me and I'll show you a great product and I'll give you a coupon code for it, and we'll make some other great meals and use mostly what I've got out of my pantry. So I'll turn you around and let's get started. Simply Cool Things sent me these wooden utensils to try out. They didn't pay me, they just sent them to me and asked for my honest opinion. And this is my honest opinion, I really enjoyed these. There's a spoon, a strainer, a salad fork and spoon and a spatula and that spatula is my favorite. I really enjoyed them. They were really heavy duty and high quality and they have replaced my other wooden spoons. So I will have the Amazon linked below where you can get them and I'll also have the 10% off code if you're interested in purchasing it. They're made of 100% wood and they're very durable and I would highly recommend if you wanted to buy them. Okay, I'm gonna let the beef drain off. I'm gonna set it in the jar right there. So I'm just gonna let that drip and we'll start with the peppers. I'm thinking I'm gonna put peppers, onions, and mushrooms in my sandwich. Okay, I've got my peppers and onions chopped up. I'm not gonna put my mushrooms in here until later because they don't take as long. Now just let these hang out. Let's just hang out for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and shred up the cheese and get that ready to put on the sandwiches. Okay, I've got my mushrooms in there. And I'm just going to cook this until the mushrooms are done and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, the mushrooms are done so now I'm going to go ahead and dump the drained beef in and I'm going to chop it up into smaller pieces. I don't like to eat it in a big hunk. And it's already fully cooked, so all I'm going to do is chop it up into small pieces, and then mix it up with the peppers, onions, and mushrooms, and just get it heated through. It's already fully cooked. So then I'm going to go ahead and add some Worcestershire sauce, a couple shakes. Remember, I'll have the full recipe down below if you want to go by the recipe, but I'm just kind of winging it here. And if it needs anything else, just, just taste it. If you need more onion powder or garlic powder or anything like that, you can just taste it here and add anything that you need to into it. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of the broth to make it a little less dry. And you could also use the rest and heat it up as an au jus sauce. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the sandwich the hamburger bun and I'm just going to spoon some of this filling on there. Make sure you get a little bit of everything, all the toppings. It's really hot so be careful. Just pile it on as high as you can get it. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap each sandwich in foil. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one done and then I'm going to top it with some cheese. I don't like a whole whole lot of cheese so I'm going to just make two with more cheese than, and two more with less. Okay. So I'm just going to take the sandwich and I'm just going to put the ends together like that. And I'm going to set it on my pan. And I'll do all four of them and I'll come back. Okay, 
I've got them on the sheet pan and I'm going to stick them in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes just to get the cheese melted and get the buns warmed up. Okay, the sandwiches are done. I hit the record button. It wouldn't record and I already took a bite. So. <laughs> this is so good, but do not buy Walmart hamburger buns. These look terrible. But on a hoagie bun or a, a real bun that doesn't look like a McDonald's nasty roll, amazing. This is a winner. When I use my leftover roast beef, I just make it with rice or something like that, or maybe some beef stew, but I never thought about making it into a sandwich till I saw that recipe. I wish I had a hoagie roll, and I wish I had some pepper jack cheese. I just shredded up some Monterey Jack. But this would be great with some Swiss cheese. I love Swiss cheese. I didn't, I didn't have any. I did have some white American, but it's all gone. I wish I would have used that. But we're using up what's in our pantry. So this is a perfect, perfect idea to use roast beef. So I'm so happy. <laughs> and mine didn't have a lot of cheese on it, but I'm fine with that. I'm not a big cheese person, but this is really good. 10 out of 10 on this one too. Okay guys, tonight I'm gonna make a pork tenderloin and I had a recipe that I was gonna make and then I couldn't find it and then I saw some more recipes and I'm like, I just had Chinese, I don't want an Asian one. So this is what I'm gonna do. And then I made up a sauce where you put honey mustard or put mustard and honey and soy sauce. I don't like the soy sauce in it so I'm gonna go ahead and make up some more just honey and mustard, one tablespoon each. So for right now, I'm just heating up my pan right now and I'm gonna go ahead and brown my pork tenderloin on all sides. I just got salt and pepper on it. Cut it in half so it would fit. I should've got my big cast iron skillet, but this has that little tail end, so I just flip it underneath and that way they'll be even. All right, I browned the pork on both sides with salt. I had salt and pepper on there. I put a little garlic powder on there. And then I put in some potatoes. I've got four small potatoes that I took the pork roast or the pork loins out and browned those a little bit. Now I'm going to roast both of them in the oven about 425 degrees. It's almost there. It's almost at temperature. So I'm going to roast that until the pork loin gets to about 145. People say 140, but I'm going to go a little bit longer. I don't like the, I don't like the pink juice. I like it a little bit pink-ish. So I'm going to go about 145. So I'll come back when it's about 140 to 145. The pork is almost done. The potatoes look really good and roasted. And the broccoli is getting ready to go in. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of that honey mustard over the top of this pork loin. Let's go ahead and put the broccoli in there. And I put it on air fry. I have the air fryer fry oven. So hopefully that will turn out good. So let me go ahead. I'll just spoon some of this sauce on there. And I really did not like that with soy sauce in it. So I know now that I just want honey and mustard in my honey and mustard. I don't want to put a whole lot. I don't want a whole lot to go on the potatoes, but I want it to kind of give it a little glaze on top. So I'll put it back in the oven and I'll take it back out and I'll show you what everything looks like and we'll see how it tastes. Wish I could smell this. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to eat it and put that honey mustard on there. I don't know why when I made that Alice Springs chicken on my fall uh, clean and easy recipe, you need to check that out. I made the Alice Springs chicken. It was so amazing and I made some honey mustard just like that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this rest. I'm gonna go ahead and get my broccoli out. Hear that sizzle? The air fryer works really good. 
So I think I'll leave that in for a couple more minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, there is my pork loin. Look at it. It's a light, light pink color, but it's still done. And it's it says it's a little overdone, but it's still pink. So I tasted a little bit of it and it's really good. I got some roasted potatoes here and some roasted broccoli. And I can't wait to eat. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. I'm going to go ahead and make a really quick dinner, but it's going to be really good. It's just gonna be fast. So I'm gonna make some corn out of the can. I'm gonna use my home canned beef. I'm gonna make some crescent rolls and I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. These are really good, but I'm gonna add this half and half and get rid of that because I've only got a little bit left in, the, in there. So this is what I'm gonna make for dinner. So let's get started. Okay, this is about all the cooking that I'm gonna do today. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. It's going to take like 12 minutes longer than the whole dinner. I'm boiling the beef because I know it's it's canned and it's, I still, I know I did went by all the rolls, but I still like to cook it for a couple minutes, boil it. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And I've got my corn back here. I don't want to get all the steam, but I just got some butter in there. I'll put some salt in there. I did use half water, half, half and half because that's all I had. And now I'm going to add the potatoes in here. And as soon as the crescent rolls get done, we are ready to eat. All right, here's our plates. Nothing fancy, but very delicious. I've got my corn here with some salt and some butter. My beef with the juice from the beef and my mashed potatoes and some delicious crescent rolls. So that's what's for dinner tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm already thinking about things to make with that beef mixture like a pizza that would be good or a calzone and maybe like in a crescent roll or even in an egg roll. I think that's what I'll do next. <laughs> it was really good and I hope you try all the recipes but that one was my favorite. And I want to thank Simply Cool Things again for sending me these utensils. I really 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 like them. I'm not just saying it. They are thick. They're 100% wood, high quality. And again, I'll leave the Amazon link below as well as the code for the 10% off. So if you're interested in purchasing them, you can click that link below and go straight to Amazon and put in your code. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.